IDE Technologies is a global leader in water desalination and has built 400 plants across the world. It's developed a pumping system which reduces the amount of energy needed in the process, increasing the efficiency and dramatically reducing costs. We need basically to be able to take desalinated water and give it as a mainstream solution to the world water problem. Can you imagine that today in China and India, two and a half billion people drink or use four times water than they used at the beginning of the 19th century. This means the pressure on water resource is amazing, is something that basically we cannot support uh, uh, the life standard and the growth of the rest of the world without having water as a solution that is not coming from nature. Therefore, desalination is one of the key things for future uh, uh, water needs, and water is life. Built on the seashore, the Hadira plant sucks in seawater where it's treated with chemicals. It's then put under huge pressure and forced through very thin membranes which separate the water from the salt. While the desalinated water continues its journey through the purification process, the extracted brine is mixed with seawater and sent back out to sea. This plant produces 400 million litres of water a day enough to serve a million households a year. Imagine that the desalination process we've been talking about started 45 minutes ago, all the way back on the seashore of Hadera, of the Mediterranean Sea, went all through the desalination process, ended up here as potable water that we can all drink and send from here on to the population of Israel through the main network of Mekot. Cheers. 30 years ago, 1,000 liters of water would cost about $20. Today, here in the Hadera plant, they cost 50 cents of the dollar. This is how it became affordable. We also, when we look ahead, want to see how it's sustainable, because as it becomes a, a need for big populations worldwide, and not just in very specific small areas, or becomes a higher percentage of the overall water use in the world, we will need to see the seawater desalination giving an answer also to sustainability, to environmental needs. They've come up with a way to desalinate water without the use of chemicals. And they believe that in the future, the desalination process itself will be able to create energy instead of using it. Ten years from today, we can actually see uh, uh, seawater desalination moving, turning the th the. Uh, dice around and actually starting to produce energy, to produce renewable energy through forward osmosis process. That would mean the same energy we invest now in doing the separation of water, we can create by merging streams of saline and non-saline water. This is the future of uh, 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 this industry and it's going to be a real breakthrough on the kind of uh, uh, service uh, water desalination can give to the world. Well, I'm at the Amiad Kibbutz, and it's here that they're working on new technologies which improve water quality without the use of chemicals. So this is the finest bit of water filtration. It gets it down to drinking water level. Yes. The clever bits in here. Now, I'm told that this sort of textile is the same that's used in my tracksuit bottoms to stop me sweating. Can you explain how that works? Yeah, just see that it's a simple microfiber polyester yeah. thread that it's wound around the plastic uh, cassettes. You can use it in the sweatshirt. You can apply this textile technology and innovation of sweatshirts and avoid 